Okay guys, in the last video, we have learned how to create a nav bar. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a banner section like this. Okay, we are going to remove the blue color in nav bar. Okay, just take out the blue color. Okay, below here, we are going to create banner section. Okay, let's put section. And I'm going to put ID banner. So this is doesn't matter. ID doesn't matter for Tailwind. You can put whatever you want. But in this case, I will put banners because it's helped me to differentiate between each section in the website. Okay, let's take a look more. So we need, we have two box over here. This side by size. So, and we have, we need container box over here, okay? We need a uh, container box. Let's put div and put class container. We need a container box to be at the center. So we put MX auto. And we need two box for content to sit side by side. So the first box is for uh, text and content. The second box is for image. So I'm going to put image over here. Source. Put empty first and then in the tags. Over here, I need H3. I need this tag. I'm going to copy it. You can type it or you can copy it. So I put H3. Put this one. And next is welcome tags is H1. So I'm going to put H1. So, and this rollem ipsum tags, okay, just put p tag. All right, next is a button. So just put a tags for a button on here. Take a course now. So I'm going to export this image. Okay, let me export out to my project. So desktop tailwind so in this i am going to create a folder name images okay and then access the folder and name this banner image okay just save it so we export the, the image so we can use image over here source we can press our uh, control space and then access to image folder inside here and then choose banner all right let's take a look at the website okay it's look like this it's pretty similar to uh, our figma layout okay we need a background color to be uh, indigo so uh, for the banner over here I can put class so BG indigo so it should be 900 so you can look at the color in tailwind as well our color over here you will see the color that you can use uh, in tailwind this is default color we have uh, indigo and 800 and we can use pink we can use rose whatever you want so in this case i'm going to use indigo okay let's take a look so yeah it's look good but we need this box first box and the second box to be side by size or to sit side by size okay we need we know this one so the container so we make it flex so the child will sit side by size so we want these two box to uh, have the equal width so we can determine the width over here class uh, width is one half okay and the box for image is one half as well so copy this one and put it over here it's one half it's a one half right now let's take a look more so we need a padding in the banner 
So I'm going to put padding in the banner over here. PY 16. Okay, we have padding over here. See, padding, padding. And you see this one, we need padding here. So uh, the Datamin logo and the text, this text start at the same uh, position. So we need to put a uh, padding X at container. PX2. So each container should have PX2. Okay, they, then it's the same, they are the same position. Okay. I want this text to be at the center here, to move at the center of a container box or of its parent box. So this one, I want this one to be center. So I can make it fixed and then I can put uh, item center. Okay. And I have to use column, flick column. So it's fake row now, so I change it to flick column. Oh, it doesn't work. I have to put justify center, justify center. Okay. Okay, it's work now. I might don't need a uh, item center. Let's see. Yeah, should be something like this. Okay, it look pretty similar. So we can make a image to be full width, so it can go all the way to here. Okay. Mm, image class with full. So you can see, uh, you can look at the uh, at this class in Tailwind documentation on its website over here. So you can look at that class and. So see the image is full width like right now. So we need to change this text to be red, okay? Here, red. And make it bigger. Okay, we put class over here. So I want to change it to be red first. Text, uh, red, 600 maybe. And then text XL to make it bigger. And make it become uppercase. We use uppercase class okay it's look good so next we need a uh, welcome text to be white okay class text white uh, make it bigger text 3xl and I just want to make this bold font bold okay save Okay, it's bold now. So I need a uh, padding, top and button for this uh, welcome to Deptamin. So I can put a uh, padding, Y axis, three. Okay. Okay, it look good. It has the padding on top as at the bottom. Okay, next. We move to uh, rollm ipsum. We put class. We need text to be white. Okay. Next, we need this button to look like the button in Figma here. So a text over here. Take a course now. We put class. Uh, we put background color to be red. Seven hundred. And text is white. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, it's go all the way to the image. So I have to put uh, inline block. Okay, let's see. Hmm, what's wrong with this? Oh, because it's, it's a flex now. It's flex here. So I have to put a div to cover the element inside the flex. So it won't go all the way to uh, to the image okay save it okay it's look good now so we need a padding X and padding Y for this button 
to make it look good. So p x equal uh, six, I think. P y is equal two. Okay, it look good. So we need a padding button. So we need some space between uh, this button and this row ramp with some text. Padding bottom PB is equal four. Bottom. Okay, it look good right now. So I need padding over here as well. So I'm going to put uh, padding in this box. So class padding right uh, is six should be okay. So we have space between image and text. Okay, it's look good right now. So yeah, it's look pretty similar to our Figma website or our Figma layout. So this is the website. All right, this is all about this video. In the next video, we are going to learn how to create the latest courses section over here.